Those nominations for two of the stars, Tony Shalhoub and Marn Hinkle. The pair plays Midge Maisel, Maisel's parents, Abe and Rose, and they are joining us now. Tony and Marin, good morning. It's good to see both of you. Good morning. Good to be with you. Hi. Hey, hey, and Tony, uh, I wanted to start just to find out. I know you and your wife, Brooke Adams, were sick with COVID-19 in, in March. How are you both doing? We're doing really well. Uh, thanks for asking. We, um, we, we kind of came through it um, all right. We, um, we were both ill at the same time, though strangely had kind of different symptoms. Mm. And uh, so we were, we were kind of able to take care of each other, didn't have to be hospitalized. And, and now um, we're, we're back to 100%, except I, once in a while I feel that, that what people talk about, that COVID brain, mm. you know, sometimes there's just a little bit, mm. <laughs> I can't, can't quite retrieve things. <laughs> Uh, that could be a function of age. Or, <laughs> no. Or, no there's, then there, there is that. There is that. So uh, 20 Emmy nominations for the program, for the, for the broadcast. How does it feel that so many of your, your cast and crew were, were recognized by the Academy this year? Martin? It's incredible. Yeah. I, uh, I, I, it's, I, I, it's one of those things where I, you can hardly believe it, and we're just incredibly blessed to be on a show that we all love this much. And the idea that the audiences are loving it is just sort of extra icing on the cake. It's great. And Marin, I thought this was adorable. When you found out you were nominated, we hear all you wanted to do was take a picture with your teenage son, which I imagine is hard to yeah. come by these days. <laughs> yes. He won't give me any of that. There's none of that in the house. And so the first thought I had when I told him was, could we have a little bargain here? Would it be possible that I could have one photo with you this summer? <laughs> and, and so he actually gave me that. And then he gave me a hug, <laughs> which is great. Even it's all better. worth it when you get a hug from your kid. Aww. <laughs> That's sweet. Tony, you know, see, season three was, was really big for both of your characters. Abe lost his job. You both lost your home. Uh, living with your daughter's former in-laws, which is, there's a lot of energy in that house to begin with. If this were to be happening now, do you, can you imagine what it would be like quarantining with them? <laughs> no. Uh, these, yeah. uh, <laughs> these actors, uh, Kevin Aaron and Kevin Pollack, uh, who, who play... Um, Moish and Shirley, uh, they're just they're just phenomenal. They're so great to work with. You know, they're uh, it, it, those scenes are just they're they're just they're just dreamy. But um, but the the chemistry between these two couples is not good to begin with. And then the, the fact that they uh, it, it's interesting. You know, Marn and I were talking about this, and, and she she said something interesting. You know, in a way, just any moment when you're stuck in a house with Moish and Shirley is kind of like being uh, in quarantine. It, it, it's it just, just, that's just how it feels. There, it just feels like there's no escape. <laughs> and you just need to get out. Marin, you, the, the season ended with your character finding a new hobby, matchmaking, which I loved. Mm -hmm. So I, I have to ask, what do you hope happens for Rose in season four? And let's, let's just talk about season four in general. When will you guys start production? They haven't told us yet. And, you know, we are actually doing a lot of Zoom calls with each other because we're kind of a family even outside of shooting. And each time we get on the phone, we're all like crossing our fingers that we're going to hear news that we actually come back to shoot. But in terms of my matchmaking uh, or roses, I am hoping that maybe she'll meet um, Luke Kirby's character and that she can do a little matchmaking <laughs> there. Or maybe Alex Borstein's character. She loved Susie, although she was like a little drunk when she was with her last time. So maybe there can be some matchmaking for some of the other characters on the show. I love it. Well, I can't wait for you guys to get into production again. And congratulations on all of the Emmy nominations. Good luck to you guys and the whole crew and cast. Thanks so much. Thanks. It's great to be here. All three seasons of The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel are streaming now on Amazon Prime, which reminds me, I think I'll go back and rewatch it all.